So I have some impressions about Octopath Traveler. Okay, I kind of missed this when it came out, and I have no idea why. Like, I knew about it, um, but I just never got around to it. And flicking through Game Pass, and I saw Octopath Traveler 1 and 2 were on there, and a friend of mine recently finished 2 and said it was amazing. Even though he's, he also said I didn't really need to play 1, I should just play 2. Kind of completionist mentality. Started with 1. And I'm, it's really interesting to start with. Like, if you haven't played it, you have a bunch of characters and you kind of choose one of them to start with. And you play through their little intro story and then it opens up and you can then go and collect all the others. And when you get to them, you get to play their intro stories as well. So I'm in the process. I've collected about their four people so far. Um, I believe it's about eight. Octopath, that makes sense. <laughs> and it's, yeah, like the whole HD 2D stuff looks amazing I must admit sometimes tired at night visual effects can be a little bit too much strain on the eyes my old aging eyes but um, other than that it's visually a really impressive looking pixel art game as you'd hope I mean it's uh, Square Enix so I'd be a bit disappointed if it didn't look good um, the game stories themselves are interesting like obviously each character's unique story is going to appeal to different people that's why i started with therian i think it said who's a thief um obviously has a lot of history going on within led him what led him into being a thief and this whole buddy thing and this whole i work alone mentality it's uh interesting to see what's going on there then and it was completely different to say the dancer girl um who has a really kind of dark history so it's like there's quite a bit going on quite a lot of story and it introduces it bit by bit i am struggling a little bit because i don't feel like i'm getting anywhere yet because i'm still just collecting everyone but it, it has kept me intrigued enough to want to get everyone to see where the story will go once i've got everyone because i don't feel like i really fully understand what's going on yet um the gameplay as well it's like turn-based random encounters which i love i love random encounters and the turn-based mechanics with uh you've got like this uh, break mechanic i think it's called where as you turn to go on you build up a bar and you can spend the points to do bigger attacks with the enemies having lots of weaknesses so the idea is you want to break the enemy's shields to do lots of damage so you want to be using what they're weak against so you've got to find that out so it's a good idea to have a mix of characters with a mix of weapons and elemental types i'm intrigued to see how far the like skill system is going to go when like unlocking skills and will there be much variety in build for the characters or are they going to be pretty set i'm, I'm not sure yet but that's so let's see how the game goes but yeah i so far about four hours in and i'm intrigued more than anything i think so watch out for that uh, final review see what my final thoughts are <laughs>